Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I will be discussing how to complete the Jorian's dream quest which is this one right here. So the first thing you would want to do is to uh, reach this screen right here. Uh, this screen is uh, in the lake system uh, south of the Force of Faith, and I will show you it where exactly it is on the map. So I have pulled up the map and I will show you where it is. So I will zoom in on the lake system. So this is the lake system um, in, this, uh, in the Force of Faith. And the screen we are looking for is right here. So basically what you want to do is to, uh, uh, if you look at the exit for Creeper's Cavern where my cursor is, you'll, you can just exit out of Creeper's Cavern here and then keep on going south. And then once you reach uh, this intersection right here, you go left and then go down a little bit and you'll see um, where the screen is. So that is where the screen is and now we can get back to the quest. Okay, to, in, to initiate the quest, to start the quest, you want to talk to this boy right here, Jorian. My dream is to become a soldier for the kingdom of Moldybed. Have you been to the castle? Yes, we have. You've been to the to castle Moldybed? Wow, the next time you go, please let one of the soldiers know I'd love to be trained. Okay, so uh, let's go back to uh, Castle Moldybad and see what the soldier has to say. So the soldier is located right here, this soldier right here. So if you talk to this soldier right here, he will, um, let's see what he has to say. You, you say you know a young man that wants to be a soldier? Sure, I'll train him. Okay, let's see now what the quest says. Tell Jorian that the soldier will train him. So let's travel back to uh, Jorian. Okay, so we are back with Jorian. Let's see what he has to say. Thanks for telling him. He's going to train me with, to use a sword. Okay, so I guess we're gonna talk to the soldier now. He's doing well. I think he's about ready to use a beginner's sword. C could we have yours? Okay, so basically what this is asking is if, if you have a sword, um, then you will have to give it to this soldier to continue on to the quest. If you don't have a sword, uh, you can buy one in the shop, the weapons shop in DICE, like the weapons and armor shop in DICE, or I think uh, Castle Moldivad also sells a sword as well. Okay, could we have yours? Okay, let me just show you. I have a sword right here, so I am okay. Yes, soldier, your sword will help a lot. Dorian will also need to learn how to slow down his enemies. Go show him how to use magic to slow down an attacker. Okay, okay. As you can see in the weapon slot, my sword is gone. So um, we want to show how to slow down an attacker. You want to choose a weaker weapon for this. In this case, I will choose my dagger and you want to start an encounter. So I will just walk against this tree. I'll just walk around here until I get attacked. Okay, um, okay, brown bear. So if you do not know, you can either open up the magic and you slow, or you can press the S hotkey, which also slows down as, which also slows down the enemy as well. So let's just defeat this guy. Okay, he is dead. And uh, let me just switch back to my weapon. And uh, let's see what the quest has to say now. Ask the soldier if Jorian learned how to use the magic of slow. Okay, let's uh, talk with the soldier again. Soldier, very good. Jorian, you're good with magic. Okay, soldier, you're a great teacher. Jorian's ready for battle. Meet him in the Temple of Tessellation. 
Okay, if you did not know, if you do not know where Temple of Tessellation is, I will show you on the map. Okay, so this is the map, and Temple of Tessellation is right here. As you can see, uh, it is pointing at Temple of Tessellation right here. Uh, I have drawn a circle around it. Um, it has drawn a circle. Uh, it literally has an arrow pointing at it, so it is right here. Um, it is a little south, uh, a little southwest to the castle of Mordivad. So if you if you just uh, go down and then keep on going until you reach you, until you can't go left anymore, and then keep on going down, you will and then go right a little bit you will reach the Temple of Tessellation. Um, so we will see what uh, Jorian and the soldier has to say when we get to Temple of Tessellation. So I have reached the Temple of Tessellation. And if you enter in Temple of Tessellation, this is what you will see. So let's talk to uh, Jorian and uh, see what he has to say. Jorian, you made it. Show me how to beat mages. Okay, so basically what you have to do is you have to keep on uh, encountering uh, enemies until you uh, beat a mage. So that was not a mage, so I will cut to the part where I beat a mage. So now I have beat a mage. So let's see what Jorian has to say. Jorian, you're a skilled warrior. I think I'll head to Division Desert next. Okay, so uh, let's meet him at the Division Desert. And uh, in case you don't know where Division Desert is, I'll show you where Division Desert is on the map. Okay, I have pulled up the map. And if you see right here, uh, Division Desert is actually marked on the map. So basically, if you go through uh, multiple mountains. Uh, if you just go through multiple mountains the normal way, then you will eventually reach Division Desert, and uh, it should be it shouldn't be too hard to find uh, if you have a uh, good enough weapons and stuff like that. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard to reach Division Desert. This is Division Desert right here. So uh, we will meet Jorian here and see what he has to say. So I have found Jorian and the Division Desert, and I will show you specifically where in Division Desert uh, the screen is, uh, where the screen is in Division Desert on the map. OK, so if we look at Division Desert here, the screen is located right about here. So if you just exit out of scaling society, if, which is right here, if you just exit out this way, go right a little bit and go south, you will reach uh, Jorian. OK, with that out of the way, let's see what Jorian has to say. Whew, it's hot, hot out here. A desert dwarf took my training manual. See if you can get it back. So basically what you have to do here is uh, you have to walk around and encounter enemies until you beat a desert dwarf and hopefully it will drop uh, Jorian's training manual. So let's see if this one drops the training manual. Nope. Uh, then we continue on. I will cut to the part where I get the training manual. So as you can see here, I have finally obtained the training manual. And I must warn you uh, right now that um, this took me like five to 10 minutes to get. So don't worry if you're like not getting it for like the first few desert dwarves that you get. Uh, I think I fought like five desert dwarves before I got this lucky one that gave me the training manual. So, uh, but anyways, let's uh, continue on to uh, let's talk to Jorian and see what he says. My training manual, how'd you get it? Thanks. I need to report back to the castle now. I'm hoping to get promoted. 
Okay, so let's see what the quest says. Return to Castle Modibat to see if Jorian got promoted. Okay, so let's just travel back to Castle Modibat and see if Jorian got promoted. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's see what the soldier says. Jorian is not re yet ready to be promoted. However, if he is ready for his for, however, he is ready for his first mission. For Jorian to earn his promotion, he must first defeat the flame dragon that is causing problems in the multiple mountains. Please help him if you are brave enough. Okay, then. Alrighty then. Um, so let's just uh, go to the multiple mountains and uh, see uh, if we encounter the flame dragon. All right, so we made it to multiple mountains. Let's see what the soldier has to say. The dragon you two are looking for hides among the mountains. You'll need to lure it out with some juicy steaks. A dozen should do the trick. Okay, so um, I have uh, like a bunch of steaks, like 30 something steaks, so I'm fine. But if you do not have any steaks, um, uh, I can think of two places where you can get steak uh, uh, off the top of my head. Um, there may be more places, but I can only think of two currently. Um, the first place is the shop in the uh, Garden of Shadow Soul. I will show you where that is in a second. So this is the shop for in the Garden of Shadow Soul that I was talking about. And uh, if you look at this food shop over here, it sells uh, one steak for 450 gold. Um, this uh, might be a little expensive here. Uh, okay, let me just show you where it is on the map first. So I pulled up the map. If you look at here, it, I told you it was in the Garden of Shadow Soul. Let's, so let's just zoom in into the Garden of Shadow Soul first. And um, if you look very closely, you'll see that the shop is right here, where I've circled it right here. So um, if you enter in from the Garden of Shazel from right here and go down a few screens and then take a, then a go west a few more screens, you will be able to, and then you go up one screen, you'll be able to reach the shop and uh, Garden of Shadow Soul. And uh, I will be now discussing the second way to get stakes that I can think of. So the second way that I can think of is to open the chest that is supposed to be here. I have already opened it. So that is how I got all my stakes. Um, this treasure chest that is supposed to be here uh, should give you a 30 stake, um, but in order to open it, you will obviously need level two bombs uh, because it is blocked off by these uh, pillars, uh, which you need level two bombs to uh, uh, break. So this is the second way that I can think of. So now that we are back in multiple mountains, uh, if you, given that you have the dozen stakes already, you can now just walk around. Hopefully you will encounter the flame dragon. So I will cut to the part where I get, where I encounter the flame dragon. So now, as you can see here, I have encountered the flame dragon and I will show the full encounter so that you can see what type of moves it uses. Whoops. And as you can see, I have de defeated the flame dragon. And uh, let's now see what uh, we shall do next. It says, report back to the castle about you and Jorian's victory against the flame dragon. Okay, so we will go back to the castle and see what uh, they have to say. 
Jorian has been promoted. And as you can see here, Jorian's dream is now complete. And that is the end of today's video. Uh, next quest we will be going over is the um, is the uh, Creeper's Nest quest. Um, as you can see, I've um, already started it on the uh, other account. So um, I will go over that. So I had to switch to a new account. Um, I will be going over how to complete this quest in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, see you in the next video.